For that reason, he's not capable of standing or walking without up his aid. So, until a couple of years ago, he would only be capable of using a wheelchair to get around. Um, he wears or he uses a rewalk. The rewalk is an exoskeleton technology, and it's worn outside of the body. And it consists of these black boxes. And in these boxes, you have motors, and gearings, and electronics. So, in total, you see four modules, and they steer the knee joint movement and the hip joint movement. The left and the right leg are connected with a pelvic bar, which makes it a system. Over these black cables, you find that data are processed and steered to the work computer, which is in the backpack, and it also holds batteries, so it gets your energy management. Um, when Andre actually wants to use the rewalk, he gets out of his wheelchair, goes into the rewalk, uh, Dobson and dons it himself, so he puts it on himself, which takes him approximately four to five minutes. Then he activates the system, and then his remote control that he wears as a kind of a sport watch he comes out and he plays a role. With his remote control, he can select the different programs. The first program he, he selects is to take him from sit to stand. From that standing position, he can now activate a gate program, which enables him to take a step, and a series of steps is what we call walking. He is also capable by now to actually uh, accelerate, accelerate stairs, so he can walk upstairs and downstairs, which is something he cannot do in a wheelchair. So basically, you could say that a trained user can go everywhere where you don't want to go with a wheelchair, but it's in a walking mode, and when you're in a wheelchair, you come to where the stairs are. Uh, that's the end of the trip in a wheelchair, but with a rewalk, you can actually climb the stairs and go down the stairs. Um, the energy management allows Andre to walk a full day, so he can get in the system in the morning and use it all day. If he uses it for continuous walking, it gives him about the battery capacity for about four hours of continuous walking, which is something that you and I do barely in wheelchairs or on a daily basis. So on a daily basis, for normal use, this is the capacity we currently already hold available. Um, from a clinical point of view, I think everybody can imagine what a dream comes true when you're in a wheelchair and you thought you'd never walk again, and you're finally capable of walking and standing and look people in the eyes standing up. But also medically, from a therapeutic benefit, you can, you can imagine that getting in an upright position, it does a lot of fitness exercises for your body, and keeps your health and condition up. So emotionally, capability of walking, medically, it's care of your health and your overall well-being and your mobility, it gives you an alternative to wheelchair. Um, that in a nutshell explains what you're looking at and uh, the, the, the nice part is just to see under walking, which is something I'd like to demonstrate to you now. When you see that Andre moves his crutches forward, he kind of leans forward. And on his left side, you see this small gray box. That's a sensor. That sensor produces a signal every time he leans forward. And that signal is actually then received by his work computer and initiates the next step. The crutches, he has to hold the balance to make sure that he gets into his balance and into his rhythm. And every time he moves in, he moves the sensor, the signal is produced, and he walks. So at this point, we welcome questions.